welcome back to the channel this is this month's OCD gaming news and damn there's a lot let's get to it it is with a heavy heart y'all that I have to tell you guys this you've probably seen it this is the day after Bruce Straley from Naughty Dog announced his retirement his resignation from Naughty Dog after 19 years at working at Naughty Dog Bruce Straley has resigned he had been on a sabbatical leave for a while since uh, after Uncharted 4. He worked on the Uncharted series and The Last of Us. He was the game director for Uncharted 2 and The Last of Us. He is incredible. He has been an icon at Naughty Dog. He's one of the most influential game developers out there. Him and Neil Druckmann wrote The Last of Us, worked on The Last of Us. They were the leads on that game. And he has worked on the most iconic, two of the most iconic game franchises of all time. Uncharted and The Last of Us. This dude is a fucking legend and here is one of my favorite moments of Bruce Straley at E3 doing the demo, the live demo for Uncharted 4. This is a fucking iconic image. Bruce Straley is a legend and that moment was iconic. The moment that he was doing the scene in Uncharted 4 and the controller failed, it stopped working and for two minutes roughly two minutes, he was standing there and the game was frozen and they had to restart it. And in that moment, I remember watching it live and I was shook to the core because I'm like, bitch, what just fucking happened? Like nothing is happening. And then they restarted it. I'm like, this does not look good. This looks like the game is broken. I mean, but like I have faith, obviously. But when they restarted it and they made an iconic moment into a trophy in Uncharted 4 and it is one of the trophies if you stand still at that exact spot where he got stuck for two minutes you get a trophy for it it's incredible it just goes to prove when something bad goes wrong they make a positive out of it they don't take themselves too seriously and I'm so grateful for Naughty Dog for just being a as incredible as they are but in the end of the letter he signed it dog for life I was like dog for life <laughs> dog for life oh my god i was like in tears when i read that tell me you guys weren't in tears when you read that because that was insane guys dog for life bruce dog for life <laughs> but in this announcement yesterday i announced that i i put it on twitter i have bruce straley on notifications i have naughty dog on notifications so as soon as they fucking tweeted this i retweeted it and I commented um, saying, oh no, Bruce Straley is leaving. Before any of the video game, the K Kotaku, PlayStation, before anybody else retweeted it, I retweeted it instantly. And after he announced that, then the the good wishes came in. Everybody was wishing him good luck. I can't believe it's, you know, good luck to you. You're, you know, you're a legend. You're an icon. You know, you're just, it's just an outpouring of love and support for Bruce. And he absolutely deserves it. But I was shook. And I call shade. And I'm going to tell you why I have the receipts. <laughs> I have the receipts. I was like, bitch, what the fuck? I also follow Anthony Newman, Bad Data, on Twitter. And he's been there a long time as well. And he retweeted Asher Einhorn's tweet. And I'm going to show you the tweet. I can't, it's, it's a gif. I can't uh, put it up here, but I'll show you the stills from it. It is a picture of... It looks like a microphone or a stand of some sort with Bruce Straley's Naughty Dog business card taped to it with his name and game director on it. And this, I don't even want to say it, but I was, I was furious when I saw this. It was his tweet and it said, with a heavy heart, quotes, in quotes, him putting his business card over fucking Bruce's business card like he is replacing him. Oh. <gasps> you shady bitch I call shade I was furious when I saw that I'm like did this I mean like I don't think there was any other way to take that and Anthony Newman wrote damn he was like damn so I wasn't the only one that thought that was shady because that was some shady ass shit if you ask me if you're replacing a beloved icon a beloved legend in this incredible iconic game developer company you do not simply replace his business card like he was like he ain't never been there like he's just gone with the wind okay you're gone that's the word i'm you're out i'm in oh you shady bitch 
I was shook. I couldn't believe it. I called shade. I couldn't believe it. I was so mad. I even, I'm going to post my tweets after that. I'm like, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I'm not, but Anthony Newman didn't, didn't, was not overreacting either because he said the same thing. This was not even hours after he uh, tweeted it. I don't know the exact timeline, but it was the same night. It was the same, it was from afternoon to nighttime that this happened and I was, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. To be fair, in his previous tweet, he did say that he was sorry to see Bruce leave, but if you are sorry to see somebody leave, you do not cover up their existence like they were never there to begin with. You be the judge. I mean, tell me what you feel about this, I, I, and let me know if I am overreacting or if I am spilling the tea. What do you think? I did not like it. <laughs> I was not happy with it, and um, that's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say about that. On August 8th, okay, so on to some next news. Let's transition on some other news. On August 18th, Life is Strange revealed the trophy list. And they also revealed that in this list, if you wanted to get the Platinum Trophy, you had to order the Deluxe Edition. Now, what is going on with this bullshit? Like, I cannot afford to buy every game, first of all. Second of all, I, I would love to buy the Deluxe Edition of Life is Strange. I do not have it in the budget, so I could not get it. So now I can't get the Platinum, which is a really easy Platinum game to get. I got it for Life is Strange, the original. So in the prequel, you have to have the Deluxe Edition, which I do not have. So let me know how you feel about that. So some good news for Detroit Become Human. I know we are all waiting for Detroit Become Human to come out. I am so hyped for that game. I think it looks gorgeous. I can't wait for it. He says, David Cage says it's coming out in 2018. And you know what? I just might believe him now. On September 9th, Quantic Dream posted a short gift video of everyone at Quantic Dream celebrating the last day of mocap shooting and recording. And it was day 324, so almost a full year to, to record the game. And it's gonna be one of his biggest, most ambitious yet. There's gonna be many different outcomes for almost every decision. That game is gonna have incredible replayability and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. But now that they're finished with the mocap, and the shooting, I am actually quite positive that this might come out before the end of 2018, and I hope it does because I will be playing that on my channel and I cannot wait. Let me know if you're excited to play that game. There's some more news about Un the Uncharted movie. Please, for the love of God, do not make this movie. I mean, and I love video games, but they have yet to make a good video game movie, and I do not want to see them try with Uncharted and destroy the franchise Naughty Dog does not have a hand in it. Uh, I don't think, I don't know about Sony, but I know Naughty Dog, they are not working with Naughty Dog. So there is no way possible this game could be anything compared to what the original video game is. And I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't come out. Even though Tom Holland is supposed to play young Drake, which I think is the only way if it was going to work, it will work. But it's such a beloved series. There's no way you could compare. Anyone coming into play is going to be ripped to shreds. It's, 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 it's a lose-lose situation. So... That's what I think about that. What do you guys think? Are you excited? Do you want to see a movie? Do you think it'll do the game and the characters and this franchise justice? I don't think so, but let's hope I'm wrong because you know they're going to be making this movie. On August 20th, PlayStation social media was hacked. It was only for about 20 minutes. I have notifications PlayStation on as well uh, for any breaking news I might need to know about to let you guys know and to share with you guys. They were back on track soon after, but it is scary to see that they were hacked so easily and they were up for about 20 minutes. So Guerrilla Games announced that Horizon Zero Dawn will have a new story mode for people who may not be so good at video games, but really want to enjoy the story of Horizon Zero Dawn, which is incredible. And I think that's a great, incredible idea because a lot of people, for a lot of people, video games are intimidating. They don't think they could do it. For a long time, I didn't play video games in between my much younger days playing video games. And for a while, I didn't play for a long time because you kind of feel intimidated. I think it's a terrific way to get people into video games that might normally not play because the story looks so, is so incredible. And I feel like this is great. Like even if like you want to replay it just for, just to see the cutscenes, just to see the story, it's called story mode. I think it's an incredible way to get people into video games. So well done, Gorilla. So on August 21st, in preparation of Uncharted the Lost Legacy, I did my whole countdown to Chloe. And on the last day, um, day one of my countdown, I did a tribute video to Naughty Dog, thanking them for making this game, which I am so in love with. I love it so much. I'm going to go back and um, get all the treasures and the trophies. I'm going to try and play it on Crushing. Um, we'll see. 
those videos usually don't get a lot of views, but um, let me know what you think. If you guys want to see me do it, let me know in the comments also with any other game suggestions. If I can, I will try and play as much as I can. The one exciting thing that happened was that Sean from Naughty Dog liked and retweeted my video. So I was a little shook and some of the other videos that I, that I uh, tagged him in and Josh and Kurt, they also liked the video, which they've done with a lot of people. I'm not special or anything like that, but my the little nerd girl inside me is just freaking out that they actually saw it, the tweet and acknowledged it. So I love that game so damn much. So I'm so happy Naughty Dog made it and I hope they make more. But now y'all better get to work on The Last of Us Part 2 because I cannot wait to play that. And speaking of The Last of Us Part 2, Naughty Dog is ramping up production. All over Twitter, they are posting job openings, for video game designers, all different uh, areas of production. They are ramping up production full speed now that Uncharted The Lost Legacy is finished and done and it was brilliant and we loved it. Now they are getting to work and I'm so happy. They probably took a little break after Uncharted The Lost Legacy. They are in full on production mode and I could not be happier because you know that game is my most anticipated of all time. So I'm thrilled. So one other little bit of Uncharted The Lost Legacy news, which I thought was so incredible. If you guys aren't following Arby's, they are so tuned into the video game world. Every time there is a new release, they do some kind of tweet shouting out without shouting out the video game. And they did so for Uncharted The Lost Legacy with the symbols. A shout out to them for being woke as fuck when it comes to video games. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is incredible. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, they are talking about the Uncharted The Lost Legacy. So I'll post the picture of the tweet so you can see. I just thought that was just really cute. Um, did Target leak a new f uh, Game of Thrones video game to be released? According to this picture, Bethesda is working on a Game of Thrones video game and Target might have just outed them in this uh, article here and they talk about it. So I am hoping that they have a, a real true Game of Thrones games. I'm so into Game of Thrones and just finished an incredible season seven and I am hoping for a really good Game of Thrones and I'm hoping that um, they do it justice because Telltale did it and it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. It was good. And I really still hope they come out with a season two because they left a lot of loose ends and I am not liking that. So uh, let me know what you think. Would you be playing this? Are you guys into Game of Thrones? I know a lot of people are. I am. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so Life is Strange. There's a Reddit post saying that these next two episodes will be releasing eight to 10 weeks after the initial first episode has been released. So within eight to 10 weeks of episode one releasing, they will be the episode two and then eight to 10 weeks after that, which is good news because usually um, for the first season of Life is Strange, it was about three months, three to four months, I think in between, definitely three months. Um, it's been a while, so don't, you know, don't read me to filth, but it was, um, if I can recall, so it's almost like two to four weeks shorter of a release window than it was for season one. So I think that is great news because I am so into Life is Strange Before the Storm. I did not think I would be into it as much as I am, but oh, no spoilers. But that that last scene had me shook. <laughs> so Sony has announced there will be a new lower price for the new PlayStation VR bundle uh, in the US and Canada. And the new bundle price will be $3.99. Let me know if you guys will be buying it. Will this be the price cut that Make sure you buy that PlayStation a VR. Let me know in the comments. Now this, talking about PlayStation, when I saw that PlayStation is announced that they'll be releasing a translucent game controller in blue, red, and, and clear, the DualShock 4 controllers in blue, red, and transparent. So they're all gonna be transparent. Uh, one's clear, uh, one is red, one is blue. If I had my pick, I would pick the blue one. You know, blue is my favorite color. I would pick that in a second. It is gorgeous and mama-like. Mama. So Uncharted The Lost Legacy beat out Mario Rabbids for the number one spot on the UK uh, video game charts. I'm so happy and I can't believe that in, in, in the US it was number five. But on the plus side, Hellblade was number one, which I am all for because I also love Hellblade and I think it was incredible. I think that Uncharted The Lost Legacy should have been up a little higher on that list, so... Get on it. If you haven't played it, you what are you doing with your life? You need to play that game. It was incredible. The last bit of news this month is the Resident Evil DLC. Return to the Mansion with Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition. So free, not a hero DLC. 
and End of Zoe add-on DLC will be coming out on December 12th. Okay, so here are the video game release dates coming up for the next 30 days or so. There is a lot coming out. I am uh, really looking forward slash terrified of playing The Evil Within 2. I am really excited to play Wolfenstein. I can't wait to play that. What game are you most excited to play coming out this fall? Those two are going to be on my list, but here is our video game artwork for the month. Miss Rain, Me Panda, this beautiful Ellie artwork. Thank you to Miss Rain, Me Panda for sending me this beautiful artwork. You guys are so talented and incredible. If you have any video game artwork that you would love to share on this channel, let me know. I'm so happy to share it with you guys and give her a shout out. Give her a follow on Twitter. And she also has her gaming channel that she does. It's called Miss Rain. Check her out. Also, our video game book club will be starting in a few weeks. I'll be doing a separate video on that, but it will be the Uncharted book. If you want to start reading it now, it is called Uncharted, The Fourth Labyrinth. This is the first in our series of video game book club. I am going to start reading it. I am going to order it. I don't know how long the book is, but I will do a separate video on that. So if you guys want, I'm just giving you heads up notice. Buy it now. I went on barnesandnoble.com and it's only $3.68. I don't know um, where it is, if you can download it onto your iPad or your phone. It might be even cheaper than that. Um, I just did a quick search for it just to see how much it was, just to give you an idea. So it's under four bucks here. So, I mean, it's not going to be an expensive book. So even if you can't get the book to read, we can still talk about it and discuss. I haven't read this book. I'll break it down. We'll do like, I guess, a few chapters at a time. Then we'll break it down and we'll talk about it. And I'll let you know when we're going to do a video on it. And you guys can send me your questions, your comments ahead of time and we can talk about it. If not, I will just do like a synopsis for you guys so we can just talk about it. So if you guys have questions or comments, send them to me ahead of time uh, after you get the book and then we will do like a little Q&A while we're talking about the book. And if you can't get the book or if you don't have time to read the book, I will do like a little synopsis of it for you guys. So if you can't read it or you don't have the time, you can still hear about it and we can still talk about it here on the channel so I'll do a separate video on that but I'm just giving you a heads up if you want to buy it Uncharted the fourth labyrinth this is the first video game book in a book series yes so I'm excited we nerd out and uh, talk about video games Uncharted and Nathan Drake so I'm really excited to read this book and we can talk about it and we can nerd out about it it's going to be awesome <laughs> it is time for this month's yes or mess Yes and mess. And this month's yes. Yes, queen. You know what I'm going to say. It's Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Guys, that game, I knew it was going to be incredible, but I was expecting like a DLC. I was expecting a great story. I was expecting beautiful, you know, set pieces and incredible dialogue. And I got that and much more. If you haven't played it, you're really missing out. What an incredible, beautiful game. I even they even shocked me with how good it was like and I was expecting it to be incredible to begin with but they of course blew me away as usual this is a standalone game and it is so worth your time to play that is my pick my yes for the month and you know I love it watch my playthrough of it I loved every second of it so if you haven't played it please I highly recommend that you do it is so worth your time and money and you know my mess is this month a beloved Bruce leaving the dog pound and I'm sad that he's leaving but I am encouraged that he's still going to be working in the industry creating something he's working on something but he isn't gonna say yet so when he does you know you're gonna hear about it here first and I'm hoping that he is happy and he continues on being cr the creative icon, legend that he is. So my mess isn't really like a mess, but the mess, the, ale the alleged mess, the alleged, uh, alleged mess with his co-worker being a little shady. So it's not really me being a mess that he's leaving. I'm just sad because kind of figured that he was going to leave because when they hired Haley Gross, who also worked on Westworld, who was writing The Last of Us Part Two with Neil Druckmann. I knew it was gonna, it's it's going to be so incredible, but it may not feel exactly the same, which might be a good thing because, you know, people are gonna read them to filth if it's the same exact game or if it's too different, no matter what they do, they, they're gonna be compared to the original. So whatever it is, I wish him luck. So I'm just sad that he's leaving the dog pound. Dog for life, dog for life. <laughs> That's it for gaming news this month. 
guys thanks so much for watching thanks so much for supporting these videos if you can guys please i'm just trying to keep these videos free for everybody but if you can support me for free it takes maybe 10 minutes a day i need 25 people a week supporting me on tad 500 tads a day at oc deirdre give a tad there is a link in every description box at the bottom of every des description box there is a link in my about section on my youtube page on my instagram page and a link right on my header on my twitter page so i'm please i haven't had a consistent amount of people uh participating every week so if you can that would be a big help it would help me pay for these games that i play for you guys i am a struggling youtuber i do not make any money all of my videos 90 percent of my videos have been demonetized flagged for content so you know how that is i'm fighting it but you know only a small amount of them get over a thousand views so if it's over a thousand views they'll might even look at it they might even lift the the ban on it um for advertising but probably not so if you could it would be a huge help to support me without spending any money and i know everyone on youtube is is you know and if you support them financially that is that's great i'm not trying to take away from anybody who does receive patreon but i'm just trying to keep this free for everybody to see so if you could support me on tad oc deirdre give a tad links are everywhere i would really appreciate it so thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this month's shit it seems like a lot of shade this month in this month's gaming news thanks so much for watching guys you know i'll be back with more